bounds. What is up guys, Zenatech here, back for another video. Also, if you guys haven't already done so, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down on my channel for more videos. And I appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up, that will help my channel real good. Today, we'll be talking about my computer setup right here. I know, does it look like overkill? Kinda does, doesn't it? But in actuality, it's really affordable. Having this computer setup is really awesome because for me, I do a lot of video editing and other things like I'm not I'm not gonna tell you I was just kidding so basically for people with a lot of productivity and everything like that this is a really good setup and I'm telling you right now it's not very expensive it's actually pretty affordable especially if you have an old computer like what I have honestly I don't have like a, a powerful computer I don't have like a gaming computer or anything like that I just happen to have that little guy right there, it's a Dell Optiplex 780. And I'm telling you right now, this thing's probably like about, I don't know, seven, eight years old. But it's running Intel Core 2 Duo, so it's not much. I mean, it's running 3.16 gigahertz, but it does have eight gigabytes of memory. It did come with Intel graphics, which is on board. So it's basically nothing too crazy but it did have one HDMI port and a VGA port, and that was it. So if you're wondering what my setup is, I basically have three HP XWs, 23-inch uh, IPS display monitors, although I tried looking for another white version, I ended up getting the black one. If you go to Newegg right now, by the way, I am not sponsoring Newegg. I ordered a refurbished ones, and these cost me about $89 a piece. So can you believe that? that so I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's a really good budget setup for me right now. And this TV that I had, this TV was given to me by my dad. Hey, thanks dad, you're awesome. Since I upgraded to a better video card, but let me tell you something right now, these small form factor PCs it's really hard to find the ones that are actually compatible when it comes to video cards. So I managed to snag one on Amazon, so I was really happy to get it. It's called the Vision Tech Productivity Series. So as you can see, it's running the Radeon HD 7750 i4. So for people who are using uh, AMD with their graphics card, you guys are very familiar with the term iFinity. This one actually does have iFinity uh, support and it's running 2 gigabytes GDDR5 high speed memory which is for me it's pretty cool so in the back you can see there's four mini display ports so it's it doesn't have HDMI or anything like that or VGA or a mixture of any everything so it's just four mini display ports and one of the key features it does have AMD Ifinity technology multi display support for up to four displays and one of the best things that I really like about it, it can output 4x4K cinematic through four mini display ports. So basically, you're going to have a resolution of 4096 by 2160 per port. And I, I'm like, what? That's awesome. I mean, my setup is not even running 4K at all. All of these are just 1080p. So I'm, I'm guessing, you know, since it can go up to that high of a resolution, so I would have no problem when it comes to putting a lot of memory hogging tasks when it comes to productivity. So let's say you have your browser open, you have your YouTube open, you have your video editing open, Adobe, Photoshop, or anything like that. You're watching a, a movie online or something like that. You're watching your stocks or anything like that. You have Excel spreadsheets open. So there's a lot of possibilities when it comes to having multiple displays. For the most part, when you buy your graphics card, you're gonna need to have a bigger power supply when it comes to wattage. So this one, you can actually just plug it in there without having to worry about buying another uh, power supply. Whatever power supply you have on right now, at least 350 watts, 
you should be good to go. One of the best things that I really like it when I tried gaming on this thing, this one, uh, I, I, at first I haven't even thought about, you know, using my computer for, for gaming purposes because, I mean, I'm old. Well, I don't look old, but that's for you to find out. Anyway, I tried installing Ferrari Racing Legends. In order to run three monitors for this setup, you're gonna need to turn off your one monitor. You can basically go to your display properties and you can probably disable the other monitor that you don't wanna use. But you can also unplug the display port on the back of your um, graphics card, which what I did. I can tell you right now, it actually runs pretty good, I would say. I mean, the game's kinda old, like maybe like 2011-ish or something like that, but still, I mean, dang. And I also tried playing this game called Arma Assault or something like that. Um, this is just a demo version by the way. And somehow the graphics is a little bit more demanding. So I can kind of hear my fan wearing up a little bit louder than normal. But it's pretty tolerable. So you can see I'm playing the game right now. And it's, it's actually pretty cool. It seems like it's more immersive when it comes to gaming. Because you see almost about everything. It's like you're basically looking left and right. It's like, where did you go? Where did you go? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! For you guys out there that think that you need a better computer, a better gaming computer, a more productive or more powerful computer when it comes to your multitasking needs, you know, I would say look up online, see what you can find, see if you can probably find something that will definitely revive your old PC. And for what I did, I believe it's a good investment and I, I'm pretty sure it will last me for a good another two years or something like that. I mean, maybe I should need to upgrade soon. But hey, it's life. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, or any questions to me at all, make sure to drop it down in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.